What's good, YouTube? It's been a while. Feels really good to get back on here. Um, so in this video today, we are going to explain why we have been MIA the last three months to be exact. We have received a, a generous amount of messages from you guys, either on Instagram or YouTube, um, or email actually, um, just asking where we've been, if we're planning on still doing YouTube, and we have a great, great explanation why we haven't posted one video since the past three months. You know, Long story short, the last three months have been extremely, extremely challenging for us. Uh, we've been dealing with some health complications with Gabby. Um, ever since the birth of Dax and um, after that, we've been in the hospital ever since, honestly. Um, we've been going back and forth to the hospital for you know a month and a half to two months. And then Gabby was actually hospitalized for 23 days straight. So it's been extremely tough on her family. Um, my mom has actually been able to help out with Daxon and myself. I can't thank family enough for, for coming together during this time. So in this video today, um, we're not going to go into the intricacies of exactly everything that has happened because it's just, it would be a half an hour to an hour long video. Um, I think it's fair to just start off um, this video back on our channel with just an initial um, explanation of what's going on and why we haven't been uploading to YouTube. Um, you know, what you guys can expect moving forward. Um, I'm going to let Gabby kind of run the show since she's the one who's been going through all these health complications. Um, she's the one who's in the hospital and has the, you know, medical terminology that is just over my head. Without further ado, I'll let the wifey kind of take it over. Yep, so like Derek said, we'll keep the video um, short and sweet, even though the story isn't so sweet. Um, and if you guys have any questions um, about anything that we're going to talk about, just comment down below and we can answer those or maybe do a Q&A about the past three months later on in a video since there is a lot of information to go over and we don't want to make this video years long. So, so Daxon was born on February 7th. Everything was good there. You guys saw the um, labor and delivery vlog and then the day after when all the, he got to meet all the family and everything. So things were, were doing good there. Derek had mentioned in that video though that I was feeling faint and um, not doing the best immediately after the delivery. Um, and from there on, that's kind of where the problems started. We were sent home after just two or three days in the hospital. I didn't feel 100% comfortable going home. We were sent home. Uh, a couple days later, we were in the emergency room. My IV site that I had from the hospital, um, I had gotten a staph infection there. So we were treated for that. So that was kind of the first <laughs> issue that we came across, um, but got on medication and was sent home from that. Shortly thereafter, ended up in the emergency room again and had some retained placenta. So they had to take care of that. Um, it's not super common to have happen, but it can happen for some women. So um, had to go through a few different courses of treatment in order to get that corrected and taken care of. But that made me feel pretty, pretty miserable <laughs> during that time. Um, and it did take a couple of doctors to figure out that that was an issue, but that got taken care of. Shortly after that, we were in the emergency room again, a few times in and out, um, and they were able to diagnose me with kidney infection and I was hospitalized for about a week um, in treating that since I just couldn't keep any medicines down by mouth. They had to do everything by IV. After that was treated, or so I thought it was treated, I still was not feeling good at all, um, but <laughs> in the nature of most hospitals, they wanna get people in and out as quickly as possible. So um, we were sent home at that point and I was still very, very sick. I was getting sicker um, by the minute at this point um, I had contracted C. diff. If you don't know what that is, you can go ahead and look it up. I probably wouldn't look it up if I was you, but I was very ill with that and that went undiagnosed. I had that for a month before they even found out that that was going on, but that was just one of the very small things that was going on. So um, we, when I say we, I mean my husband Derek and my mom um, really advocated to get me transferred to the U of M, which is where I really needed to be, the second best to Mayo in the state of Minnesota. Um, and mostly everyone knows of Mayo Clinic, but this is like second best and they have a similar approach there. I was transferred over from the one hospital we were at to the U of M. I got transferred nearing like evening time, but by next morning when those specialists came in, I had 
the diagnosis like that like it took them no time at all they had looked at my labs looked at all of the imaging I had done and were able to diagnose me with Addison's disease so Addison's disease is extremely rare there's not many known cases um, 146 out of 1 million people have it so very rare very very rare so we were really thankful to finally have a diagnosis have um, a treatment plan there's no known cure for Addison's disease people um, that have it are on steroids um, lifelong but we are believing that um, God's gonna heal me and that I won't have to rely on these medications we're definitely believing God long term that you know we won't have to deal with this you know later down in life we're believing God for fully fully restoration and full healing in her body we were thankful just to be in a hospital that finally listened and took me seriously and I when I when you know that something's wrong you know um, so I had that had that diagnosis um, another issue part of the C. diff stuff I was dealing with and all the other medications that I was on ended up um, creating a bowel obstruction in my belly so at the U of M um, when I was there for this whole 23 day stint they were trying to get that moving and it just was not moving for days and days on end. I had a lot of painful um, procedures done, some biopsies done. Um, I had the whole NJ or NG nose tube running medication in that way to try and help shake things up and move things along. So I was dealing with Addison's and the bowel obstruction at the same time. So. It was difficult, um, and that's why the hospitalization took so long, <laughs> for those two reasons, kind of dealing with both of them at the same time. Things still aren't back to normal. I know it's going to take... If you're wondering a what this is, this is uh, what you can explain. Yeah. It was either I stay at the hospital to continue getting IV um, like fluids to keep me hydrated and nausea medicine, or I could have a PICC line placed. For those of you who don't know what a PICC line is, basically like a long-term IV um, and I'll be reassessed and like you know monthly or whatever to see if I can take it out but I have IV fluids that I get every single day in addition to some other medications through there I have home nurses that come to the house every single week four to five times a week I have physical therapists coming to the house occupational therapists coming to the house um, and then I have a whole lot of appointments with specialty GI endocrinology the whole the whole nine yards I'll a big team of doctors that are working to try and help get me back um, back to normal to where I was prior to all of this happening so really thankful to be at home and be able to have um, home care here so that I can be with Derek um, and with Daxon so we're, we're still going through the storm here um, my mother is actually um, still helping us out with Daxon so Gabby is not able to fully take care of Daxon yet um, just because of all the appointments and home care nurses coming in and whatnot so um, things aren't 100% back to normal so please um, keep the prayers up for Gabby um, and honestly you know there there is a silver lining to this story they told us in the hospital that because of the adrenal gland insufficiency that we shouldn't even have had a baby that people with this disease don't even end up pregnant which is just crazy um, to even think. So Daxon is truly a miracle baby. And I you know, believe wholeheartedly when Gabby was, was going back and forth to the hospital, we had, we had so many family members, so many friends, um, even extended family, their friends, and we just had so many different- 700 um, Club. <laughs> yeah, like my grandma called the 700 Club and mm -hmm. had them praying for her for a couple weeks. And we just had different circles on Facebook coming together and praying for Gabby. and. Where I was getting at is that I, I believe in my heart that those prayers truly kept Gabby alive. You know, G Gabby, you know, she, I'm just so thankful that she's here. You know, some people, they, they, they lose their, their, their wives, you know, t after birth and, and, and during the situation with the Addison's thing, you know, people can pass away. And I'm just so thankful that, you know, we had everybody praying for her and, you know, she's alive today. You know, we have a baby that shouldn't even be here. So it's just like, there's just... This, this miracle, uh, you know, that, that has happened in our life with, with Daxon and also her, you know, it's just, you can take things for granted. 
So with the physical therapist and the occupational therapist, I'm working really hard to regain my strength back um, so that I can care for Dax in 100% on my own. For right now, I'm relying heavily on Derek and Derek's mom, Georgette, um, to take care of him, and that's hard because it's, um, you know, my my little boy, and I want to be able to 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 be be there for him and be be a mom and feel like a mom. And through that, through all of this, that's been really difficult. But I know that we're headed in the right direction. We're gonna get there. It's a process, mm -hmm. um, and we're gonna bring you guys with us through the rest of this process. We spoke to each other and we're like, you know, we don't want to get back on YouTube until things are back to normal and we're able to um, really put our time and effort into this. But, you know, I feel like our, our followers and just people in general, like they want to be a part of your lives through through everything, you know, the ups and the downs. And honestly, this is a rare case for, for any family to go through, especially younger parents, first time parents. It's, um, it's very difficult and challenging, but, you know, I feel like you know, it's it's good to get it out there to you guys. I feel like you guys want to be a part of this, and um, we're just gonna upload it. It's a part of our journey. We're not fake. You know, we're very authentic and genuine, and we, we want to bring you guys along for for the ride through everything with us. We're gonna be real. We're gonna be raw. We'll bring you with through the highs and the lows. We're just gonna keep it real with you guys, and that's what we've done since the beginning of our channel. So, right. if we don't end up posting a video one week or two videos a week um we're just doing the very best that we can we're gonna do our best to get content pushed out for you guys to keep you all in the loop but the best way to know what's going on um on like a daily basis would be to follow us on instagram down below yeah um yep. we we try to keep those very or we try to keep our pages really current for you um aside from youtube so mm -hmm. if that's something that you're interested in doing those are linked below nonetheless mm -hmm. we're gonna wrap up this video here um I just can't can't thank you guys enough for the people who did reach out and message us um, and, and who are praying and who do believe in prayer. Please, please, please keep up the prayers for Gabby and our family. God's bringing us through this. God is so good. Um, you know, during this time, I feel like you can just crumble in your faith or you can get closer to God. You know, being 20, you know, 23 days, you know, sleeping, you know, alone and just knowing that your wife is in the hospital is so, so hard and so difficult. And those nights, I, I you know, could have screamed at God. And, and, and trust me, there was a few nights where I questioned, like, why is this happening? You know, why is this going on? And I was listening to a sermon by T.D. Jakes. And he had a quote that said, um, Don't take the presence of the storm as an indication of the absence of God. And what that means is during the storm, it doesn't mean that God isn't there with you. Or that he said that a lot of people think that if a storm comes in your life and there's trials and tribulations and there's so many things that are thrown at you and attack, that means that you did something to bring that upon yourself. Then this huge attack comes and this huge storm comes. It's like, why is this happening? Not just one attack. It was one after another after another. The staph infection, placenta, you know, it just seemed right. to keep piling on. Um, and being new parents is and adjusting to that is hard enough in itself so um, it's been a lot but we know that throughout it all God has been with us he'll be continuing to walk by our side we're getting through the midst of it mm -hmm. it's a process and we know that um, there's a light at the end of the tunnel I have the diagnosis and the medical team and the medicine that yes. I need now and yes. um, the, the care that I need to get feeling better and now it's a matter of just getting there so our point is, is you can take this in two different ways. One way, you can just look at it and be like, wow, like all this stuff is coming down on us. It's just crumbling, like I hate life. And then you're just gonna be just moping through life with a negative mindset that nothing is gonna you know, change, that you're just gonna keep living the way that this is. Or you can change your perspective and think, you know what, like my wife is here. Like we do have our baby. Like God is bringing us through this. Like she's at home, she's not in the hospital. It's all about the way that you're thinking. And, you know, we're truly grateful for where she's at. We're clinging to God during this time. We truly are. And, you know, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. We're, we're already stepping into it. We're almost there. So we just thank you guys so much for hanging on to this journey with us. If you guys are new to our channel, if you guys, if this is the first video you guys have watched, <laughs> trust me, uh, things have gone a, a lot better in the past and they will get better going in the future. We truly enjoy doing YouTube videos for you guys. Um, we're so excited to get back on this. We're going to do our total, um, we're going to do our best trying to get out as much content as possible. So with that being said, join the doll fam, hit the button down below to subscribe to our channel. 
if you like this video, <laughs> she's about I, to go. Here's the thing. There's, <laughs> there's not a lot to like like about what's going on, but um, yeah. Give this video a like if you're if you praying, support if you're us, supporting us through this time. Yeah, hit the like, please. Because um, there's a lot to dislike about what we've been going through, but uh, hit the like yeah. button if you're if you're if you're sending prayers or encouragement or support our way. Um, it doesn't go unnoticed. I, I I feel peace daily, and I know that that's coming from many of you, along with family and others that are are praying for our situation. And Absolutely. we're we're gonna get better. We're gonna get through this, and we're gonna bring you guys with us. Absolutely. Subscribe like hit the notification bell to make sure you guys are staying up to date all of all of our videos man we just love you guys we love you guys so much thank you for the support and we are back we are back moving forward <laughs> feels good it feels good things are going to be different but they're going to get better and um you guys will get to see some of Daxon's cuteness in the next video. We do promise he yeah, is sleeping right dude, now. Yeah, <laughs> he is. He's amazing. So, best thing, best thing to ever happen to us. Mini Derek. So yeah, he will be him and all of his cuteness will be, be in the a next. Hooper. He'll be in the next next video. But yeah, we're we're back, and we thank you for sticking around You're for the past back. three months. So we back, Jack. Love you guys. God bless. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.